Hey everyone, this is Michelle with Foxy Chick Designs at Magnolia Design Company. Just wanted to hop on here for our Saturday morning chalking. And this morning I'm going to try something a little different. Um, I'm going to use a couple of different stencils and I'm going to use three colors of chalk paste. And we're going to try to make something really cute out of this. I've, I've not done this one before, so we will see how it goes. Anyway, if this is your first time popping on, if you will post a number one in the comments. And if you've never caught us live before, if you would put a number two in the comments. If you're catching live, if you would comment hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, if you'll comment hashtag replay. Um, so we're going to get started. Um, if you're, when you're coming in, if you will pop in and say hello. Um, you know what? No, I don't. I've been having trouble seeing my comments, so if you wouldn't mind saying hello when you come in, that way I can see who's popping in. Alright, I'm going to turn my camera around and we are going to get started. Um, the colors that I'm going to use today are our blue ice, our white, and our red. So almost kind of a red, white, and blue, but... Um, the blue's just a little bit lighter. Um, these are the colors that we're going to be using today. The two stencils that I'm going to be using is our mini plaid and our um, farm truck. And then the board that I have is just one of my chalkboards that I put a frame on. Um, but this one doesn't have a frame yet, so I'm going to design it first and then put the frame on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get our camera square turned around here okay all right there we go hold on let me move camera here all right there we go so I'm, actually my camera is giving me a little bit of trouble I'm so sorry there we go now we've got you in Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, open up my colors and I'm going to make sure that they're all stirred up because some of these I've not used yet. Actually, I think the red is the only one that I've not used yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get a stir stick and you can see that it's pretty, pretty tough. So I'm just going to grab my water bottle and I'm going to throw some water in this guy. And I'm just going to use my stir stick and I'm going to get this all stirred up. And it may take a few minutes just to get everything all stirred up. But you just want to work the, the water that you just put in. I'm going to pull this back a little bit so I can see it. So I can make sure that I'm getting all of the pigment stirred up. And as you can see, it's a lot, it's a lot thinner now than what it just was, but I'm still going to throw in some more water and I'm going to keep stirring until it's to, to the consistency, consistency that I like. And I like my consistency to be kind of like frosting in a can or yogurt. Okay. I think that's good. Okay, so our red is good. Our white should be just fine because I've used that one recently. So I'm not going to really worry about getting the white stirred up. In the same way with the blue, I think the blue should be fine because I've used that one quite a bit. Actually, I am going to stir up my blue because you can see how it's kind of starting to separate a little bit. So I'm just going to go in and give it a quick stir. Make sure all that pigment is all stirred up. Okay, so now my colors are ready. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put our plaid down at the bottom and at the top. I'm going to do like maybe a strip of it. And I'm going to do it in red so it looks like the buffalo plaid. Because that is absolutely one of my favorite plaids. So this stencil has been well loved. 
So I'm just going to peel it off the backer sheet and I'm going to set the backer sheet aside. And because this has been used, I don't need to fuzz it at all. So then I'm just going to line it up here with the top of my board. And I'm going to smooth it out, making sure that there are no bubbles in my silk screens. Let me see, what is that? You know, I think that's what it, it is, and that's not what I want. Okay. So there, I'm going to just spread that out. And then I'm going to take my sque small squeegee and put it in my red paste. Hey, Amanda, how are you guys? I saw the cute pictures from you guys yesterday out with um, Cam. He's, he looks so cute and he's getting so big. All right, so I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to just work my way down to like three little... Um, going down through like three and actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread some of this on here. I know that's way too much but I can pull it back up and put it back in the jar. And I want to be very careful yeah that's way too much not to go off the board and not to go further down than what I want. And I probably should have taped it off but it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not real concerned if it's not perfect. And that's not good. I'm going to go this way on this little end guy because I don't want him to peel up. We're just going to go down. Just want to go down two or three little um, rows. And actually, I went down about three and a half. So we're just going to bring this down. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick this up. And see, it gives me kind of a, a rugged edge, which I like. We're doing good. Hey, Missy. Thanks for popping on. And then I'm just going to move this up. And I'm going to put the same thing. I'm going to line it up about the same. And actually, I can use the line to line it up. And I'm just going to push this back down. And I'm going to pull, grab my red squeegee again. Grab s some more of this paste. And it's making a mess, which that's the fun of crafting, is being messy. And I'm going to grab my squeegee. And I'm just going to go ahead and work my way down off the board. And actually, I should have done this the other way. Because this is going to be all straight. And the other one is going to be the way I wanted it. Oh, well. Ugh. Like I said, this transfer, or the stencil is well loved. So, it does not have a lot of stick left. But that's okay. We're still going to use it. And on that end, it's really not going to matter anyhow because of the frame. So I'm just going to go over this. Just kind of run off the edge a little bit. I want to make sure all this top is done. Okay. Now I'm going to squeegee off the excess. And then I'm going to go back through again and try to pull up as much of this extra paste as I can. 
because it really is a lot a little paste goes a long way all right and I think we've got this all done Ugh, I have a lot on the edge of the squeegee all right so now we're just gonna peel this up just like so and we're gonna set this aside Good morning, Scrap Stella Stella. Thank you for joining from Brazil. Wow. I think this might be my first international um, person joining me. And I appreciate you hopping on. If you have not liked my um, business page, Foxy Chick Designs, if you would give us a thumbs up and um, hit the bell next to the, the thumbs up so that way you will not miss us going live. Hey, Amanda. Girlfriend, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. All right, so now that this is done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my dryer. And I'm going to go ahead and get this all dry. Okay, so you can see like some of my edges. I'm not real concerned about that because I will show you the frame that I'm going to be using with these guys. This frame comes off of the stretch canvases and I just take the canvas off and I use the frame. And so when I frame this, that's pretty much what you're going to see. So you're not going to see the edges, so I'm not really concerned about those. And then I'll end up painting this um, frame. Probably I'll either stain it a cherry brown or I'll paint it white. Um, I'm not real sure yet. Do you guys have a suggestion, um, of what color I should paint this frame, um, to go with, to go with the board? But those are the frames that I use and they're really inexpensive and they're actually really good quality. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my, um, farm truck, which I am... I was never so excited to see a stencil in my whole life. When this farm truck came out, I, I was a little bit unglued because I was really excited. So, and I've already used it. So I've got all the little places marked on the back so that when I clean it up, I can put it just right back in. So I am going to peel up the stencil. And I'm going to just peel it right off the backer sheet. And I am going to lint this one. And what linting is, is it's just throwing it on your shirt or your skirt leg or your pant leg. And getting just a little bit of lint and fuzz on it. Um, I don't know if you can see any of that. Um, but it just makes it so it's not so sticky. So you can get it to pull up really easily. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up the bottom of the um, farm truck with the line for the mini plaid. I'm going to just spread this out, making sure that there are no um, bubbles or air pockets in my silk screen. If there's some in the green, I'm not really concerned about that just because I'm not chalking on the green. But I do want to make sure that there are no bumps in my silk screens which I got a little bit of paste stuck there there we go and then we're gonna smooth that out and our truck today is gonna be blue and white I'm gonna do the marbling effect and we'll see how that turns out so I'm gonna take a little bit of my blue 
and I'm just going to dab it all over the truck. And then I'm going to grab another stir stick and grab our white. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another small squeegee and I'm just going to start at the top and start blending it in. And if I need to, I'll just grab a little bit more paste. And I just want to make sure that all of my silk screened areas are covered with paste. And now that I mix this, I'm not going to be able to put it, like squeegee it back off into the jar. So I'm just going to grab one of my handy dandy Clorox wipes or disinfectant wipes. And I'm just going to wipe it onto there. And then I'm gonna go back over and squeegee up the excess. And I'm just gonna wipe it off onto my disinfectant wipe. And then I'm gonna sit my squeegee and my wipe to the side. And I'm gonna grab from a corner, but I'm gonna work my way down. Cause you never wanna pull from a corner cause you could stretch your stencil and I'm just going to grab it like so. And I'm just going to pull it across like that. And voila, you've got your... Hey, Lisa, thanks for dropping on. How are you this morning? And so there is our vintage, our um, farm truck. And I am going to... I think I am going to add the Country Roads Take Me Home, and I think I'm going to just add it right over here. So I'm going to take this off its backer sheet as well. Oh, you know what? I need to dry that truck first. I am doing well. I know the buffalo plaid is more Christmassy, but I absolutely love the buffalo plaid. I love the red and black. I also like the black and white, but I just thought I would do the buffalo plaid. All right. Now I'm just going to wait until this gets all back down to room temperature. Because if you lay a stencil over the top of it. Hey, Deb, thanks for pop popping on. Um, if I lay another stencil down while this is still warm, this has the potential of pulling up the bottom layer and I don't want to do that. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to lint it up. I'm going to just throw it on my, my skirt leg here, um, and get some lint on it just because I do not want it to pull up any of this, this truck because this truck is super cute. All right. So then I'm just going to, I'm going to line up, uh, yeah. Hmm. What do I want to do? Hold on. What's up? Nothing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to just move this over here. You know what? I'm going to pull in my frame because I just want to make sure that when I frame it, 
you'll be able to see the country roads. Okay, so I can move it over just a tad bit. All right, and I think, you know what? No, I wanna do it up here a little bit. So I'll make sure when I frame it. Nope, I need to move it back over just a hair. Well, I'm going to move it over just a tad bit. So it'll go right about there. And I'm going to be very careful when I when I push it down cuz I like I said, I don't want it to pull up anything underneath. And I'm going to just use our white for our country roads. So, I'm going to just grab some white, pull it from the top. Except from the heart, the heart I'm going to make red. And the little hearts I'm going to make red. I have puppies and a dad that just woke up. All right. So now that I have all of that done. I'm going to just squeegee up the excess, put it back in the jar. And I'm going to grab one of my little squeegees here and just get in here with this red. And then I'm going to go in from a corner and I'm going to walk it up. Just like so, and I'm going to be very, very careful when I pull it up on the truck. No! <sighs> Alright. Oh, let's see here. I really do not want to pull up this truck, and I have a feeling it is. It did. It pulled up a little bit. Pulled up a little bit. Ugh. I wish I knew what I was doing wrong when I layer. Anyway, I am... Do I? Hmm. All right, and I got a little bit off. So right here, I'm just going to go in with my disinfectant wipe and just wipe that off. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry this. All right, now, I think I'm gonna pull back in my truck here a second. And I'm gonna see if I can line this up. I'm, I might be asking for trouble here. And I'm just gonna barely lay that down. Just gonna barely lay it down. And I'm just gonna grab a tiny little bit of blue and a tiny little bit of white and I'm going to try and fix that little spot okay and I'm going to pull this back I think. Ah. 
There we go. There. Sometimes you can fix little, little pieces like that. So I'm gonna get that all dry. It's not perfect, but I think it's cute. So there is our project for today. And then like I said, I just have the little frame that will go over the top of it just like so. And I'll end up screwing this on. But now for you guys, a quick question. What color should I paint the frame? I can either stain it like a cherry brown or cherry wood, or I can paint it white or I can paint it black. What size board? It's a 12 by 12. It's a 12 by 12 chalkboard. Um, Lisa, you're in my area and you can get these chalkboards at um, Home Depot. They come in a really huge, um, what do you call it? Like a really big board. And then I just get them cut down to 12 by 12s. And then I go to a local craft store and grab the stretched canvases. And I just take the canvases off and use the, the wood frames because they're so cute. Brown. Okay. I think, I'm, I, think I might just stain it. And, and the, one of the stain colors that I have is one that I used on my, um, my Fox Scrabble letters. Which I absolutely love my Scrabble letters because I... I can do pretty much everything and anything. Oop, and I've got the slide going on. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I will stain the, the frame. Since that's what everybody is thinking. Now I want the buffalo plaid. Ha! It's, it's the mini plaid, Deb. It comes with the dots and the mini plaid. Um, so you get the two um, stencils together and i i absolutely love my mini plaid especially around um christmas time because it makes it super cute but i just think this would be cute for a little like farmhouse kitchen maybe um or like an, an entryway i just think this looks really cute anyway i'm gonna get everything cleaned up and i appreciate you all jumping on i'm gonna turn you back up to me for a minute um just to let you know a few things okay um so that was our project for today and you saw how quick and easy it was and there's no there's really no mistakes you know you saw the little mistake that i made on the truck and i just threw the stencil back down and touched it up a little bit and it's not perfect but you know what it, it doesn't have to be perfect for me i don't mind that at all um but the two things that I wanted to let you know about is one, I have a, um, a VIP program where I am looking for six people to sign up for three months. And all you have to do is order $25 off of my website and you'll get put into a group where, um, we'll be kind of creating together, um, the, I, I'll be able to see what stencils you order and the ones that I have like that I can be creating with them and giving you ideas. Um, I know I have a couple Magnolia Design creators in here today. Um, unfortunately, because you guys would get a total better deal by ordering just off your website. Um, so Deb and Lisa, I'm, I'm not going to have you guys join that program um, just because... Um, you guys, you know, can get your own products, you know, going off your web, your own websites. Um, but this is for my, my other friends that have joined us. And if you're not working with a creator right now, I would love to 
um, be your creator and help you um, get your own get your hands on your own products because it's so much fun to work with it's easy cleanup um, it's it doesn't take long to create it all and then you get you know beautiful products like you saw me create today the other thing I want to let you know about is our get started kit it is $69 plus tax and shipping um, if you are interested in learning more about Magnolia Design Company or getting paid to craft or joining my team even as a hobbyist and just taking advantage of the 35% discount if you will comment team in the or actually join if you'll comment join in the comments then I will I have a video that I've created um, my opportunity video that I will get out to you so that you can hear all of the ins and outs um, of Magnolia Design Company and you'll hear why I joined um, you'll hear um, all the great perks and the fun that you will have with Magnolia Design Company um, I want you to be able to know everything to where you can make an educated decision on whether or not you want to join Magnolia Design Company and also if you want to join my team um, and the things that you know I do um, when you become a part of my team. So again I appreciate you all jumping on for our Saturday morning chalking and I'll be back again with you for another quick project and thank you for joining. Have a great day. Bye.